And here he is now, Smoke Dixon, a.k.a. Smoke FD. Also, his uh, resume includes, actually, no, no doctor involved here, but he is a former Power 5 general manager, so is absolutely qualified to talk about what some of these teams should do. Uh, let's start with a monster matchup in Knoxville. We've got Alabama at Tennessee. Focusing on your tide here, I'm not sure if the viewers at home can tell, but uh, <laughs> based on some of the, uh, the stuff you got behind you, uh, he did go to Alabama and played there once or twice. So what is the prescription this Saturday, both to get a win and to continue to finish out the season strong. Well, Emily, I don't even know if I'm saying this right. It's even coming out of my mouth properly. Bama needs to play better defense. When have we ever heard that in the last <laughs> 17 years? They're ranked in the 50s and the 60s on defense. Now, what's suffering with Bama on defense? The lack of gap and terror be on within their run game. You've seen guys being able to run up the middle, to the side, guys aren't getting off block, their linebackers aren't doing a good job of flowing and keying the running backs or quarterback and getting to the, to the runners and getting them down to the ground. Now, when you look on the back end, they are having multiple busts, poor eye discipline, explosive down the field. The comeback against Georgia, Georgia had two guys running free and they just threw it from ball. Went to the Vanderbilt game, same thing. So the lack of communication, the lack of, the lack of gap integrity on defense and I discipline on the back end family just needs to play better defense they need you out there smoke uh, we were talking before we <laughs> came on that this seems like a freaky Friday incident where Tennessee has the better defense and Alabama probably has the better offense right now so uh, definitely a lot to improve for them speaking of offense the CBS game of the week is Michigan and Illinois so what do the Wolverines need to do to get a win and hopefully finish out the rest of the season strong they got to find a way to pass the ball. They got to get a passing game. Now they went to three quarterbacks. They went to War Davis Warren, Alex Orgy. Now they're back to Jack Tall. How are they going to find a way to create explosive plays on offense? Yes, they can run the ball at a high level, but running the football only controls it and runs timed out. Having to complete 12 to 15 play drives and execute those, sometimes you can't do that. So at some point, they have to get somebody on the outside, create separation, and also get a quarterback that can complete a ball with accuracy, timing, and precision in order to get this Michigan thing rolling again. I don't know if they can get a quarterback at this point in the season, but they will trot out Jack Tuttle, their third quarterback of the season. We'll see if that helps them there. Meanwhile, let's go to undefeated Indiana. I had to say that slowly so it could fully sink in. They've got a really tough test, though, this weekend against Nebraska. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is not going to last with the Hoosiers, right? This is just lightning in a bottle here to start the season. But you've done some research. What is it about this team that makes them a contender? Well, A, they can throw the ball and execute on a high level. Kurt Signetti hit a gold mine with getting cool hand Curtis Ford in the transfer portal. This guy is a veteran that's done it. He's top five in passing efficiency, top five in passing yards. But one thing that he does real well, he takes care of the football. And when you're running the RPO with a great quarterback coach such as Kirk Signitti, you have to be able to execute at a high level with precision, timing, accuracy. And this guy is doing it in a high level. And when you talk about passing game, everyone will say, well, they can get the ball out to the receivers and they can do this in terms of the passing game. But one thing that they're doing real well is they're protecting the passer. And when you're protecting the passer, that has to do a ton with the way that you're calling the game. With Kurt Sigmini doing a fantastic job, but also the quarterback being a veteran and being able to set protection and also running that RPO and giving them less time to get to him as a quarterback. All right, super quick. Let's end with another undefeated team, Iowa State facing UCF. Similar situation here. So what's your professional opinion on Iowa State? Lock down you. They have three DBs with two interceptions, 10 picks overall. They continue to play the strapped up defense. They'll be perfectly fine. All right, looking forward to all these big matchups this weekend. Doctor, thank you so much for all of these mid-season checkups. We appreciate it.